Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NSW Smackdown. My name is Dave Easton alongside Jess West. Jess, good evening. Good evening. It's great to be on Smackdown. And welcome to Smackdown, just three shows away from WrestleMania. Of course, what will Paul Heyman have in store for everyone here tonight? You know, like you said, three shows away. The season's gone so fast. And that's what we... It's... But it's been memorable, what can we say? Yeah, it's been a great season. We have the, the Slammy Awards coming up soon, where we get to relive all of these great moments. Yeah, and we're going to start things off, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, look at this. Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, DM West, and Adrian Kincaid. What oh, DM has got himself up with the big guys. Yeah, it looks like uh, Heyman's got himself a few new... Uh, few... backup, as you could say. Mm. Let's, hear what, let's see what Paul Heyman has to see here tonight. Of course, I'm looking through my notes and can't see King Kira D and what's actually having a match here tonight. Hmm. Wonder why they're out here then. Well, I think we all knew what, ha knew what happened with uh, Pretty Boy Tom and DM West and obviously Paul Heyman saying uh, <coughs> it looks like it's the end of Pretty Boy Tom, but of course Pretty Boy Tom and Petey Got a, a number one contendership match here tonight against the Ascension. Yeah, they could be the the new and uh, sorry, not NXT SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yeah, see, you're getting too close. You're yeah. getting too good on them shows. <laughs> Still to come, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, Paul Heyman is right. He wants to make SmackDown the most watched show on the NSW network, of course, which is free. Don't want to forget that. Please do uh, subscribe. On 375 now, quite good. Mm. We're not scared to tell everyone our subscribers. And Paul Heyman saying that if you don't impress him here tonight, well, you're going to be in trouble. And coming up next, this is for the number one contendership for the European title. Who will face Umegle at WrestleMania? It is either going to be Kofi Kingston or Curtis Barnett. And what a breakthrough this will be for Kofi Kingston, the former NXT uh, member. Yeah, but he's going to be up against Curtis Barnett, of course, whose uh, team, as they call, they like to be called the NSW Originals. I uh, decided mm. to go against Kofi last week, but not going to be allowed to be in part of this match. Well, let's see what Kofi can do tonight with his high-flying skills. Well, of course, Kofi has... We've talked about this on numerous occasions of him changing his attitude and going against the fans. Will it be that this all comes up tonight when he becomes the number one contender? Well, it would be nice to see Kofi getting that. Number one contendership. That's always nice to see the NXT guys making it big on the main roster. Well, we will have to find out if he has what it takes to beat a former uh, champion in Curtis Barnett here. Mm. Kofi, of course, known for high flying, but as I say, this new attitude of his definitely, definitely has uh, proven to be successful, many would say, without the titles. Yeah, well, especially since he's moved over to the main roster from NXT, he has really improved. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, former World Heavyweight Champion, he is Curtis Barnett. This could be another great chance for Curtis Barnett to get a title again. Yeah, of course, Curtis Barnett was really the the Jan Michaels boy, you could say, over on Raw. Now traded over to SmackDown, really hasn't done that much. Now, all of a sudden chance to become the number one contender here tonight uh, Paul, Paul Heyman said to me in the back this is a night of opportunities mm. and also mm. as he said before don't impress him and you will pay the consequences mm -hmm. so uh, I, I know tonight everyone who gets out in this ring will be trying their hardest putting on the best performance they possibly can he might be talking about you yeah. oh gosh yeah <laughs> well I, I'm not normally on it so well, me, that's what I'm saying you've opportunity this, this could be my opportunity, yeah. Better impress him, I think. Get yeah. them facts in. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm like with facts, Dave. <laughs> well, let's find out if Curtis Barnett can become the number one contender. It's our first match of the night, and it's to see who faces a muggle at the WrestleMania. And who are we going to go for in this one, then, Jess? I'm going to have to go with my boy, Kobe Kingston. Wow, well, Kingston already showing up. High flying oh. and nice cross body early on. Of course, NSW Upper has completely went against you and said it's going to be 
Um, Curtis Barnett. I think Barnett's actually become quite a, quite a big fan favourite ever since moving away from the whole authority thing with Jen Michaels, people. Well, yeah, you've got to think, he's, especially with this new group, he's Daniel Cage and, of course, Trey Donovan. And a lot of people sort of, sort of like a ragtag group, they don't really know how to take them, of course, because they just, they don't care about anyone. No. So, Ooh, nice oh, uppercut from Kofi. Yeah, lovely shot. Kofi in control here. Maybe you are right. Maybe Kofi is going to take the number one contendership here. Away from Curtis Barnett. Is anyone, even a former NXT superstar, can do a Russian leg sweep? Oh, nice shot. Kofi in control here. Oh, yeah. look at this. Oh. Oh, oh. nice crossbody again. And there's that, really, the rough side of Kofi Kingston. Nice shot to the back. And Curtis Barnett has just not got out the blocks here early on. Yeah, he's struggling. Another shot in. Oh, but look at oh. that. Barnett, a little bit too quick. Then a little bit of a glide. The lockup. And Kofi Kingston using that high flying to his ability. And Jess, you've got to see so far, this is trouble for Kofi Kingston. Yep. And Barnett. Oh, nice backbreaker. Yeah, Barnett's not really impressed. Oh, as you say, I, I, yeah, I just speak too quick, don't I? This Barnett is, he has been impressed with me, but Kofi Kingston, mm. he, he's another story. Oh. He, he, he didn't really have the best start to the season in NXT, but he got drafted over to the main roster and he's been doing good here. Yeah, it, it seems to just be like, when once he got up to the main roster, it brought, it brought out like a new side of him, you would think. Then, hmm. then he had NXT. He was sort of struggling in NXT and then came through and then has sort of shown this new side of him. I uh, go and really not caring about what the fans think. Uh oh. Oh, oh gosh. Let, let's move this flow to oh, that laptop. Uh, oh, oh, look at the, the laptop. laptop. Come on. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh, 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 my game coming out. Oh my oh, god. god. Oh, can someone get the. Oh, my water. The laptop. I haven't been well, people. Can I have my water? Oh. Oh, I, I was going to ask Kofi, right. but then, oh my god, he's just oh, my, kicked my headset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a spare here, hang on. Oh, that's alright then. <laughs> there we go. As, oh, he's done it again. Second uh, Russian leg sweep. Uh oh. Oh, he's calling for he's it. He's calling for it. This could be the end. Is he going to hit oh, it? No, oh, no, he's going to there. That might have cost him. Yeah, telegraphed it. Nice DDT. And Barnett now working over Kofi Kingston here. Ooh. Dropping down right across for a good breaker. And then a kick right to the back. Not looking good for Kofi. He should have hit that trouble in paradise. Poke to the eyes though. And Kofi with the pin. Not managing to get it. Kofi's really been impressing me tonight. Barnett comes back. DDT. Sorry, I needed to get some water. Sorry. Ah, sorry, you know, you know, I've I've not been well. Yeah, I, oh well. You know, I hope you get better soon. Oh, I'm getting better. That's bad. I just needed to. Uh, if I don't have the water, that flow delicious, delicious, footy, 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 flow of water. Of course, get some in your Stays little stuff. Ooh. Shot right to the back of the head by Barnett. Barnett's in Oh, there's another kick. Barnett trying to work over Kingston here. Now trying to go high flying of his own. Nope, going to the top. He is. Double axe handle oh. right between the eyes. Oh. oh, what's he doing? It's the elbow drop. And uh oh, uh -oh. I think someone might be going to sleep. Now, night, Kofi. If he hits this. We've got a new number one contender. There it, it is! Oh. <laughs> Side of the jaw. It's busted Kofi open. Two. And that Three. is it. And Curtis Barnett is your new number one contender for the European title. We started with a bit of a shaky start, but managed to pull through in the end. Certainly impressed Paul Heyman tonight and impressed me. Well, big win for Curtis Barnett. And we will now look forward to that match against Umagel at WrestleMania. 
And what it, a match it, that's going to be. And it looks like the NSWF has got one up on you already, Jess. Yep. <laughs> hopefully not Heyman's not watching. Good. I was going to say, hope Heyman's not watching this, but obviously it's his show. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Heyman. Big win for Curtis Barnett, the NSW original. Uh, now moving on to WrestleMania. Uh, hold on. What the hell are these two coming out for? We're there. Look at this. Whoa. No oh, need. No, 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 no. Oh. What? You won fair and square. Come on. Just I tell you, sending a message. And oh wow! <coughs> Three hard shots. It's disgraceful. And what a way to end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, talking about it, Michael, he's up in action next. He's going to take on Sami Zayn. We could be seeing a little preview of what Omega is going to do to Curtis Barnett at WrestleMania. Yeah, who is going to stop Omega, and especially with Oliver Bisping by his side? Good old Bisping. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. He is from Canada. He is Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, of course. Many people's uh, pick for Rookie of the Year. Of course, we were talking a little bit about the Slammies. Slammies coming yep. uh, very soon, ladies and gentlemen. Keep an eye out on NSW's Twitter and Facebook for more information of the NSW Slammies. And I do know you've had a bit of a hand in that. Yeah, I've been helping some of the guys in production. It's looking pretty good. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, of course. Uh, times to be confirmed when the NSW Slammies will take place. Make sure, as I say, you keep an eye out for our Twitter and Facebook for more information. And ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Oliver Bisping. He is your European champion. He is Umagel. You got, you got to ask yourself this question, Dave. Who's going to be able to take that title off him? Do you know what? I don't actually know. I couldn't ask that. I couldn't answer that question. M many people have tried, but it seems to be when you've got this guy beat, he just sort of jumps back up, gets a sort of like a second win, and then that destroys you. Hmm. It's just I don't, I don't know how to explain this guy. He's just he's just scary and big and strong above all. Hmm. Well, and Megal. Ready for action in this one. Let's find out if Sami Zayn can put any dent into the European champion here tonight. And we're off and away. Who are you going for in this one, Chess? Uh, well, I don't really think Sami Zayn stands a chance tonight, so I'm going to have to go for Omega. Yeah, looks like the NSW up is going for that as well. And Omega showing his dominance early on. Just look at the size difference between these two. Like not not height wise, just weird like body mass. But yeah, <laughs> I'll say it. Don't worry. I, I don't oh my god! Fat. He just threw him across the whole ring. <laughs> Sammy, That's the strength I'm on about. Sammy Zinn nearly just flew out the ring there, ladies and gentlemen. That is not um, by any means an easy job to do. But when you're a megal, it, it's just like picking up a fly. Sammy Zinn would be like a fly to this guy. But Zinn needs to do work. Anything to keep. Omega down, look at this. This could be it. Been in DDT, oh. but really we've seen this. It doesn't Mick take any gets straight back up. No effect on the guy. Why go for his head when oh my god, referee, watch out. <laughs> Don't want to squash the ref. As a Zane now goes to the top. Moonsault from the second rope. It doesn't seem to affect Omega nope. at all. Gets him straight back up. And Megal then just glancing blow takes Sammy Zane down. And the worst thing about this guy this Megal uh, Jess is the, the, like the flexibility for such a big man it's scary it really is i think sammy zane's uh, sorry sammy zane's game plan is just really uh, uses quickness i guess mm. i would try and hit and run but even hit and run might not even work mm. as omega's quite a hard competitor to come against oh look at like just flanned him sort of just like pushed him away Zane, this is what Zane's got to do. He's got to try and really hit him as much, and that might work. Oh. Nice back suplex. Oh, no, look at that. <laughs> he, he just, he just sort of like got up. Zane's probably Sammy think, Zane could even lift him. Zane's like, what am I got to do here? It's like, 
Like, Nothing affects this guy. The worst thing is, how does Bisping even find this guy? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. Like, look at this, Zane. Now Twice he's, now he's done that. No, see, he tried to hit is him it? again and he just moved out the way. Oh, hold on. <laughs> wow. But then, look at, but then just to say that, he just gets straight back up again. You just you just can't hurt this guy. Say no. Say no, that might do something. Or not. Oh, wait, maybe. No. It seems to be hurting his back there. Look at this. He's flying. Yes. Oh. Cover him, Sammy. Oh, no. Don't get him up. That's the worst thing you could have done. Got to keep him on the ground. But hold on. Oh, nice <laughs> suplex. That could be it, you know. We could have an upset here. Two. Oh, of course Bisping's up. Oh, but he still kicked out, though. You couldn't see that. It was down to yeah. Bisping. And Michael now back in control. Oh, pump handle slam. Not pump handle slam. Sidewalk slam, even. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Snake oh! crushes ribs. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Poor Sammy Zane. How is His he? His ribs could be broken. And look at this belly to belly suplex. <laughs> just end this. Come on. And I think he may have just took your advice. Because yeah. that is it. Surely no way for Sami Zayn to get up now. And that is it. And Michael picks up the win. Another great demonstration that we can just come out of nowhere and destroy people like that. What does Barnett have to do to take the title off this man? Well, I'm calling it here, Dave. And Michael's going to keep the title throughout the whole of this season. Yeah, well, it's not. Is and it? even possibly season three. <laughs> hey, you can I'm going to deny that one. Who is going to even take the title off that guy? But ladies Only and gentlemen, time can tell. Go stick with NSW. Yep, your winner is a Megal. Bisping looking happy here tonight. Oops, sunny as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, we are just ready to go back. Oh, hold on! What the hell? Oh, whoa! King Kid? <laughs> what? Is this what Heyman was talking about? As Obviously, Sami Zayn didn't impress Paul Heyman then. And now, what the hell is Dio? Oh, come no, on. No, no. There's no what need is... for this at all. No, 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 no. Are, there now, are, oh. are we to call these Heyman slackies now? Because this is what it seems to be. Oh. They're just doing the dirty work for Paul Heyman. Come on. That is no need for that on Sami Zayn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember, NSW comes your way four times a week. Raw on a Monday, main event on Wednesday. Smackdown usually would be on a Thursday if I didn't have food poisoning. NXT is also on a Saturday night. It's on uh, after us for tonight. non Wrestling UK is our network. NSW underscore 360 is the Twitter. NSW 365 is the Facebook. And if you live in the UK, it's 11 o'clock where the show starts. Six in the East, three in the West. If you don't live in any of them locations, check Google because he is your friend. Yep. And of course, the, the NSW network is completely free. It is. And coming up next, tag team action as Chaz and Bruce takes on the strongest roads. Look who's there, Dave. Francis. I know you've got a soft spot for him. He, um, uh, has she had the... Oh, he... Uh, I don't think so. The change? Or... No. 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 Okay. Well, well, here they are. Yep. The former tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. It is Chaz and Bruce. And up against the strongest roads. And of course, a uh, bit of controversy last week when Bruce decided to attack, the refer attack his own tag team partner. Sorry, Bruce. Apparently it was all a mistake. Uh, when Bruce was uh, blinded slightly, he said, he said he had an eyelash in his eye and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. So let's hope that uh, they can get on the same page here and pick up a win of the strongest roads tonight. Oh, if Francis at ringside, I'm sure they're going to have a big advantage. Uh, yeah, no, Pretty Boy Tom has recommended some of those Francis yoga yoga things that she, uh, he, he does. Ah, yes, I've heard about that. No, the fun thing of going along. Francis Yoga. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, pretty, it's, it's worth a pretty boy, Tom. Well, from one extreme, ladies and gentlemen, to another, because here is Mark Henry and Connor Rhodes. They are known as the strongest Rhodes. Sure, both of these tag teams tonight are looking to get into the the tag team picture once again. Look at the championships. Well, they would really have to be now looking for season two. Because obviously the Ascension will take on Petey and Tom later on. To f the winners will face the NSW Originals at WrestleMania. So really, this is really going all about for season two, trying to get a contract for season three. Sorry. Yep. I mean, you'd, 
you are basically confirmed a contract with NSW, you have one of those titles. Yeah, and really, these lot are not going to have that opportunity now. No. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, off and underway. Who are we going for in this one, Jess? Oh, I don't know. Um, I, I might have to go for Jazz and Bruce. Well, we will find out then, as uh, the NSW app have all gone against you on this one, going for strongest roads. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Hey, Francis. Don't start talking to him. Is it him? I, I thought Francis was on holiday with Jerry Mard in Mexico. No, no, no. She, he, he came back early. Ah, right, right. Don't ask. Best thing not to. Joey, yeah. gets, Joey gets jealous, apparently. <laughs> but uh, look at look at the kicks. Wow. Chaz bringing out a new style of kick He's here tonight. Certainly knows how to use those legs. Yeah, and Bruce in here. Oh, but Bruce hung oh. up on the top before he could even Just get in. <laughs> catches him. Mark Henry likes saying none of that. And here comes Connor. Pumped up. Yeah, look at this. Oh, takes oh. out Chaz on the outside. Battle of the Blondes there, you could say. As a uh, oh, nice elbow by Bruce inside the ring, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, still to come tonight. We have uh, Carlos in action in the main event. He's going to take on Luke Harp of the Wyatt family. So we will find out how that goes. The... Oh. And uh, just just going through the text, ladies and gentlemen. Just got one through here on my, of course, my cell phone. Uh, and apparently it's from DMY. It's, it, Tweet oh, in the back. Oh. Listen to this. Curtis, take my advice. Try to make your match against Umega in no DQ and hit him with a chair. A lot. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. We'll have to see if that happens. Mm, we we're going to have to find out um, what their match will be, of course. It, WrestleMania. Look at this. Uh, Connor Rhodes is showing off here. Right in front of Francis. And I think... I, did I see, I see him blow a kiss there? Hey, could be trying to impress Francis. I think it was more mocking more than anything else. Not well, really. But, uh, Connor, now Bruce throws him into the corner. Chaz with the tag. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, like our NSW superstars, get your tweets in if they do come through to the official NSW Twitter. I will try and read them out, obviously, if they, um, of course, are, haven't got any rude words in. Which will spoil us. Anyone! <coughs> Even someone with blonde hair can do a Russian leg sweep. Nice tag in. Bruce in Back now. Tag in Bruce. Yeah. yeah. And now Bruce. Oh, looking for the submission hold here. Could we... Could, here comes Mark Henry though. Yep, yeah, breaking up. I was going to say, could Jess have won over the NSW app here? I, I don't think I've won any of my matches though. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. oh! Well, it, that's, well, if he wanted kids, he's not going to have them now. That is just, uh, that could be oh, it. Into the that. cover, hook of the leg. Is that enough? Mark Henry's in. Oh, kick at it too. I don't think Mark Henry would have saved that, you know. Uh, there was no way. Oh, was the there free. it is. Oh. Good Reg power bomb and Connor's up. And look at this, Francis. Up and uh, distracting the ref. Ref, look, ref, watch the match. Oh, God. We try and tell the ref every week. Just does not listen. <laughs> Connor trying what? to go for the, the tag. Obviously, the referee distracted by Francis on the outside. And Connor, though, nice throw. Oh. Roman Greco throw there. As Francis looking a bit dejected on the outside. Connor doing laps around the ring. He's trying to prove his fitness. Well, maybe Mark Henry should do a few of that. Uh, oh, Mark Francis just. Whoa. Chipping the, tripping the referee, sorry. Don't lay your hands on the referee, Francis. Uh, a question coming in on the NSW. I like this NSW Twitter thing. Why have we not even thought of this before? Uh, someone asking, will the Francis Yoga DVD be on sale at the NSW store? Afraid not. You have to go to Francis's official website for um, exclusive offers. Cover though, yeah. Big chance for Bruce. And there's the three. And would you believe it? Chaz and Bruce pick up the win. Well... <laughs> What a win, Francis looking happy. You know, we could see these guys looking for the title shot very soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a massive win for Chaz and Brucia tonight and a big helping hand to Francis 
Just some more money going towards that fund. Uh, we could see uh, that change happen in season three. Could see. We, well, we'll find out. But you'll win us tonight. Chaz and Bruce in this one. And Johnny Dreamer backs it. Brock Lesnar! And this is all through last week when Johnny Dreamer beat Brock Lesnar in a match. And I'm telling you what, uh, Jess. And look, oh! <laughs> you, you're not going to believe this. Is that... Yes. That's my car I had repaired. Again? Why did he always take out... <sighs> you, should buy, you should buy it in a different place, mate. I honestly can't believe they've done that again. Anyway, coming up next, uh, it's Paige and the number one contender, AJ Lee, going to take on the women's champion, Brie Bella, and her sister, of course, who's Nikki. I'm just going to ring the insurance company while they're waiting for this. Alright. Here comes AJ skipping the way down to the ring. I'm looking like I've got it on speed dial as well, actually. We, you do need on speed dial. I, I do, when they keep doing that to me, car. so many times. I think this could be like the fifth time this season. And, and it was supposed to, I suppose, it's supposed to be like the commentator's car park. Oh, God. It's disgraceful. You don't mind me. Well, let's see if Paige and AJ can pick up the win against the Bella Twins. Of course, uh, AJ Lee is the number one contender. Mm hmm. That is true. Going to face uh, Brie Bella at WrestleMania. Well, be a great win for her if she can. Be, uh, be with a tag team partner. And these two have never liked each other, but are going to team up here tonight. Should be interesting to see how these two work together after such hatred going on this whole season. But we have seen stranger things happening in the SW. Sorry, I'm on a. Apparently, there's a 20 minute hold. You got that music? I have actually. <laughs> Oh. I don't understand why they play music when there's a voice comes on every two minutes saying, you're in a queue. <laughs> don't ask. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Paige is in the ring. We're ready for the Bellas. And we've got our sags a tag team, man. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, made her way to the ring with her twin, Nikki, the NSW Women's Champion... Brie Bella! I'm being told it's a 22 minute hold. A 20, 22 minute hold? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, let's see. Or if the Brie Bellas can pick up the win against AJ and if Brie Bella can make a statement. Did you just, see, just... The, did you just see the Brie Bellas? <laughs> I did, didn't I? You did, yes. <laughs> well, okay. Let me, let's see if the Bellas. Can pick up the win against AJ and Paige, and of course, if Brie can make a statement against AJ. Mm. Well, are we ready for this one? Tag team action coming up on SmackDown. I can't believe I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get another rental car. Aren't I? How many other people's cars hit like not enough? Up? 22 minutes. Well, wait, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse, we're going for this one. Oh, this, is, this is definitely a hard one, but just for the fact that the Bella Twins are obviously twins and they've been together for a long time, we're going to have to go for them. Well, uh, let's see what the NSW app is going for. Most of them going for AJ and a Paige. Really not going for your picks tonight. I think they know my past record and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, I, see, I really wish they would get up. There's so much black costume in this I match. I think it's uh, Br Nikki on the outside. <laughs> just tried to punch her own sister that was nice uh, there's a tag now um, let me see if I can uh, is there any way of telling these two apart I'm really not too sure uh, well uh, uh, Bella's in the ring just say that yeah <laughs> if we see it, if <laughs> we, we see got it, a Bella in the ring and the other Bella's dancing on the outside getting a bit excited can you just say that um, AJ Lee's the only one wearing a little bit of colour in this match it's just a full black attire. Mm. Everyone else is. Hey, look at this. Oh, oh wow. Oh. <laughs> Paige and AJ taken out. Paige. Broker in half. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Paige could have sustained a nasty injury there. Oh dear. 
And it's NSW trying to tell me how to tell them apart, but I can't see that on air. I think it is Nikki on the outside of the room. Well, we'll have. Hopefully, we'll uh, see if they, if they if they pick up the win. We'll be able to see. Uh, that's true. Uh, As a look at from one of the bellas. Oh, oh my God! What a move taken, Page. Then Page. And now uh, I think that's Nikki. I think in the ring. Yeah, Nikki's in the ring. In the cover. Hook of the leg. Two. And no, oh, no, just a two and a half. So close. NSWF trying their best to try and uh, tell us which one is the Bellas in the ring at the minute. Thank you, you guys, as always. Remember, guys, keep your uh, comments coming into the uh, the official Twitter tonight as uh, Paige gets a two count. Uh, yeah, NSW uh, underscore 360 is the place you want to go. As nice uh, frame, sort of like face plant. Oh, <laughs> referee gets distracted by AJ Lee. That may have just cost them the match there. As... Uh, Jess is just sort of staring oh. at them. I, I, I can't tell them apart. I, I, do you think I can? And I've done this for how long? As a, oh, nice oh. arm drag from the top. That could be enough. Nope, she wants to damage Paige a bit more here. That it's, might do it. Oh. Inseguri, back of the head. Referee, a little bit out of position. AJ, oh, but well kept out. And that is it. Three. And a huge win for the Bellas here tonight. Well, Nikki, oh sorry, Bree definitely made a statement tonight. Well, both of them did. Only because we didn't tell them which one was apart. Maybe saying to AJ. <laughs> yeah, maybe saying to AJ, you've got to do a little bit more than that if you want to get this title off me. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Big win for the Bellas here tonight. Ah, oh dear. Just getting some of that flood of water. You still on that phone line? Oh, yeah, I am actually. 13 minutes. Hmm. That never sent like a nine minute match. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, the Bella's leaving the ring here. And, uh, oh, hold on. AJ's Whoa, back. AJ's back. Oh, oh, wow. Between the eyes of Brie. I think that's Brie. I hope she ate Brie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks to that camera work. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're all heading for. WrestleMania, it is. Uh, coming your way at November the 2nd. Don't forget that. Where, right where you are now. And that is um, NSW underscore 365. And of course, it'll be on the network the next day. So you want to be there. WrestleMania, and uh, it'll be uh, the 2nd of November. Just with three weeks away now. And the biggest stage of them all. Yeah. We are all counting down to Wrestlemania talking about Wrestlemania the winner of this match will take on the NSW Originals for the tag team titles it's going to be either the Ascension our pretty boy Tom Fell and Petey pretty boy's new acquaintance Petey he, he's not the brightest of fellas is he which one <laughs> Petey ah oh. I don't think we're allowed to say that um Okay, I'm just saying the obvious, but these guys. Now, these guys do scare me. Former yeah. tag team champions. <laughs> uh, they are, of course, the Ascension. I just feel the flames from here. It's so hot. And, of course, Connor and Victor. Of course, where? no, Paige. Paige just been out the last match, of course. Thought you would be out here with our, our boys, as they would say, but uh, not tonight. Mm, she's just trying to recover after that loss. And what do you think about AJ taking a shot to Bree right but right the title right between the eyes? Talk about wanting to make a statement. There's your statement right there. <laughs> I think maybe AJ's anger just got a bit too much for him. She had to take it out on someone and then fortunately that person was Bree. Well, no no better person to take it out on you would guess than yeah. the person you're gonna face at WrestleMania. And of course the, the Ascension here have not been in good moods over the last few weeks. After losing the tag team titles, uh, right the way back at our last pay per view, of course, the Elimination Chamber. Well, let's see what they can do tonight against Pretty Boy Tom and PD. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here they come. They're, they're very, very. Uh, what can I, can I call them? They're a very odd tag team. Oh, they're brilliant. Come on. Well, you've got to think. That the, I, the worst thing is the fans are actually starting to like these two. Yeah, I think I think Pretty Boy. 
I, I don't know. I, I, I guess he's kind of won them over a little bit. I mean, he definitely is the best signing we've had since the beginning of season two, obviously. And you, know, <laughs> I don't really know what to think about this Petey guy. He looks I mean, very he, familiar. I've just really, realised he, he reminds me of someone that used to be in NXT. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Well, let's uh, let's get on with this match. Yeah, who's going to win? Sorry. Gonna, it's, it's obviously it's obviously going to be Pretty Boy Tom and Petey. Oh, well, we'll find out. As the uh, Sanchez might have something to say about that, Connor. Uh, Victor, sorry, in the ring at the minute, trying to work over Pretty Boy Tom. The thing, I, I know we're going to say this, but uh, you just never, never understand NSW sometimes. It just sometimes just throws up things that just you just never think could be possible. <laughs> well, that's the beauty of NSW. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. No, nice takedown by Pretty, if, if pretty Boy. Honestly, I was shocked when they beat DM West and Adrian King. If they can beat the Ascension, you know what it is? I'm a, I, I'll be I'll be a fan. Mm. I'm going to say that now. He's got, to be, he's got to believe in them. No, well, I think Pretty Boy Tom might need to do something else here. <laughs> oh, yeah. my Ooh. God. What a shot. And Connor going for the mouth. That could be it. Petey doesn't realise he has doesn't to come in the ring. To come I don't think he realises he has to come in the ring. <laughs> I mean, once he's in the ring, he really is quite quite a dominant force. Yeah, but the problem is he has to realise that he's actually in a wrestling match. Oh, now we here he comes. Think might have realised this. Oh, what Ooh. a kick! <laughs> oh, no, look at that! That is a tiltable sidewalk slam if you've ever seen one. But Pity just trying to use his brute strength here. Connor now. And there's any... Oh, really? Do I have to? You gotta. Anyone, even Petey, can do a Russian <laughs> leg sweep. I can't believe I've just said that. And look at the uppercut. Petey just ground him and Connor's had enough. And Petey just going straight after Victor now trying to work over a bit of wrestling skills. Petey then just comes in, gets tripped up. He's in the wrong type... Of, uh, sorry, the wrong part of town. Yeah, but look at this. Victor with a nice splash. And now... Victor now just working over the back of Petey here. That this doesn't look good. And now the double team. Big chop across Ooh. the chest. Taking Petey off his feet. Uh, what is Petey wearing? That's all I want to know. But th oh! Sort of tie -dye. The knee to the face. And even that could be the end of Petey. And I think the Ascension. Our number one to contenders here, ladies and gentlemen. Into the cover. Hook the leg. Two. No! Petey mm. kicked out. Unbelievable, still going here. Right out to the ring, outside of the ring even. Yeah, Petey taking to the outside. This is some sort of days right now. I, I don't think Victor knows what to do with him, to be honest. Throws into the oh. corner. Now the referee, remember, the referee's got a 10 count here to play with. and uh, He's not going to put, no, 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 no. Oh, this you, can't be... put, you can't put him through. No, oh, no. my God. Oh, no, he isn't. He is. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. Petey has just nearly taken out, has taken out the first front, front two rows of our audience, ladies and gentlemen. The referee up to a count is seven. Petey's got... I don't think Petey's going to be able to get back in. I don't think any of them are going to get back in. Referee... Oh, what? This could be... Oh, oh nine. This... Is he going to make it? Oh, he, he does. He just... Holy Moses. And to say that, he's actually turned the match around. Oh, just as I say that. Nice... Uh, race to the oh. eyes. And how the world is Petey still standing? I re I'm not too sure. Let's go knock oh, him down again. One high cross body. Victor just thinking, uh, I will do anything to keep this person down. And now, cover, hook of the leg. Is that enough? Tom has to get in Pretty here. Boy, in. And breaks it up at a count of two. Seems to me like Pretty Boy's. Tag team title, title dream is slowly slipping away. Yeah, nice clothesline by Victor. That could be it this time. End of the cover, hook of the leg. It two, was like it, no. and that's not that's enough. Like oh and my. the Ascension are number one contenders. It's <sighs> just a bridge too far for PD and for Tom. He, he pulled in his gear. 
And you know what the worst thing is? The Ascension get their rematch against NSW Originals. That could be an awesome match. Uh, well, I just hope Pete's okay after that beat down. Yeah, really struggling to get to his feet here. Just wasn't wasn't in that match at all. Yeah, and the Ascension, your new number one contenders. And now what's going on? Ascension winning this match. And uh oh. Oh. Here come the champs. Oh. Trey Donovan and Daniel Cage. Sending a message to the Ascension. Yeah. With these two, the NSW originals, working oh. over. Victor on the top! Oh my god! And now gonna work over Connor. And well. It's a night of trying to get one up on everyone here tonight. And there is definitely a team that is one up. The Ascension beaten down by the tag will tag team champions here in the NSW originals. Uh, Daniel Cage and Trey Donovan. This is no way for the, the champions to act. Well, you we're talking about sending a message out. That definitely will do that. The NSW originals definitely making their name. I uh, heard here tonight. And uh, Bray Wyatt. Ooh. Message for Carlos here, of course. He's going to take on Luke Harper here tonight. Three weeks away until possibly the, the biggest match of his whole career. Uh, yeah, and of course, Bray Wyatt, who has held both the World and NSW uh, Championships in Season 2. Carlos won the Royal Rumble, get, getting himself the main event at WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt will be hoping to stop the dream of the, by not the redneck, come WrestleMania. Some be strong words from Bray Wyatt. Very. And, well, Bray Wyatt, saying you can, you can just a little taste of what you can expect tonight, um, is what you're going to get at WrestleMania. Well, there's only one place to see if that, that does that does actually happen. That's a WrestleMania. Are you going to follow the buzzards? Are you already, are you already following them? I'm already, I'm already following. I don't want to be on the wrong side of Bray Wyatt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, because Johnny Dreamer has been taken out, he was scheduled to face Daniel Bryan. His place is now being taken by Kurt Angle. Our Olympic hero. And what a match this should be. Two technical wrestlers. Two expert technical wrestlers. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, main his way to the ring. He is Daniel Bryan. And you can He's hear the finally fans. Finally, come to the yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's all I can. So we can hear around us, ladies and gentlemen. Such a sight when Daniel Bryan it's comes to the ring. Definite. It is. It's not really good when you've got a bit of an ear ache, to be honest. Hmm. But uh, that's the NSW universe for you. Daniel Bryan, ready for action in this one. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, the Olympic gold medalist from Pittsburgh, Kurt Angle. Our Olympic hero. He's got that gold medal. Won it in 96, you know. 96, go. With a broken neck. Wow. He doesn't like doing things easy, does he? No. That's why he's good no, angle. He's a, he's a machine. But tonight's certainly not going to be easy for him. He's going up against Daniel Bryan. Mm. Look at Bryan. Bryan just does not look phased at all. Former NSW champion. I think I would... I would I'm right, actually. Yeah. Daniel Bryan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm right. So, Kurt Angle, Daniel Bryan, our sixth match here tonight on SmackDown. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sixth match of the night. Jesse, we're going for this one. Bit of an up and down night for you so far. Uh, this is my, my chance to pull it back. With? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go for 
Daniel Bryan. Oh, let's see. Let's see who the NSW app is going for. Uh, I may have to scroll up the app a little bit here. I think they might go for Kurt Angle. And no, Daniel Bryan. Daniel, wow. So they went with you. <laughs> First time tonight. It's going to be my chance. Mm. Well, Angle early on in control here as they lock up. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we now know that Curtis Barnett is the number one contender to the European title. We now know that the Ascension will take on the NSW Originals come WrestleMania. And, well, still to come, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Luke Harper is going to take on the number one contender for the NSW title, and that is Carlos in our main event here on SmackDown tonight. What a main event we have. Yeah, as Brian working over Kern Angle here. Oh, nice catch, a nice clothesline, and that is just the quickness of Kurt Angle. But then Brian coming back with a swinging neck break of his own on that surgically repaired neck of Kurt Angle. Angle is known for having a lot of neck troubles. Of course, we were talking about how he won the uh, the title, the uh, gold the medal, sorry. Yeah. yeah, the Olympics with a broken neck. It still haunts him through his career. I'm sure that's where Daniel, uh, Daniel Bryan's going to be aiming all of his shots tonight on that neck. Yeah, okay, angle. If, but look at that! Are another good shot by Daniel Bryan, and of course now just softening up Kurt Angle here with a nice forearms, elbows, sorry, into the shoulder blade as Bryan. Front angle. Oh, look at this! This is Angle. <laughs> this is a technique of Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, taking out. I can now the wrestling rule. Just showing Daniel Bryan who's boss. Well, Kurt definitely has the... Anyone! Even someone with a goat beard can do a Russian leg sweep. Like I was saying, Kurt has the high advantage over Daniel Bryan, but saying that, nope. Only, only a one count. Yeah, and... Look at this. Nice throw by Kurt Angle continuing really with the amateur wrestling style here. Trying to go for that uh, chokehold. Referee allowing this, Angle seems to have it locked in. No, nope, but just as I say that, just loses the grip. As Oh, but look at this! Oh. Brian turns it around! Look at the kicks! Here they are. There's three, and you know what this ends up? To the back of the oh, head! No. That could do it! Cover! No hook of the leg! Kirk two! Knocked out. No! Bring just on. a two! And a nice shoulder barge by Kurt Angle taking down Daniel Bryan. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you want to stick around for the main event. It's coming up next. It is Carlos versus Luke Harper. I remember tonight, special night for NSWs. Anyone, even someone who still refuses to shave the goat beard, can do a Russian leg sweep. Oh. And you're Ryan say, saying he's going to oh, end it. Oh, there it is! The forearm! Right into the chest. Can, they, can he be setting up for that running knee? Oh. He, he could be setting up. Look at this, he's just... Playing with the fans. And I think we could be seeing the running knee. No, but oh, he gave Kurt Angle. After that. Yeah, he gave Kurt Angle a bit too much time. And oh, here we go. There's one. Hooking them arms. There's the third. Three German suplexes in a row. Nobody can take that. But look at this. Brian's up. Oh my god. Angle slam! Yes! Oh, mm -hmm. That could be it! End of the cover! One! One. Got him! Yes One. he has! Oh. Kurt Angle has picked up the win! Kurt Angle standing tall tonight over Daniel Bryan. What a huge win for Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up the big win over... Daniel Bryan right here on Smackdown and don't forget will Kurt be in season 3 you'll have to find out in the weeks to come still loved by the NSW fans though mm -hmm. your place is never secured in NSW unless you have one of those titles around your waist that's true and well ladies and gentlemen Daniel Bryan slowly getting to his feet here and what's this all about are we going to have more fireworks here? 
And let's hope not for Daniel Bryan's sake. Looks pretty injured. Oh, that... No, oh, that is good. Yeah. That great sportsmanship. That's what we like to see. Especially what, after what we've seen tonight. These two... Uh, what a match. And Kurt Angle is your winner in this one tonight. It's always nice to see that. After a great match. Nice little handshake. Yeah. Back to the good old days. <laughs> and, uh... Tom, oh, see, oh. Tom and Petey going home after a disappointing night here tonight. And, oh, hold oh. on. Oh, come on. Oh, These two behind. again. They've he already had a bad night as it is, guys. Come on. Him and Slacky's at it again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our main event. It's Luke Hobart versus Carlos. And you've got to know Bray Wyatt will be along at ringside. But Bray Wyatt's never not out there. That's the worrying thing, though, for Carlos. How is he going to concentrate on Luke Harper? Yeah, after what uh, Bray Wyatt has been, speak uh, well, been sp yeah, speaking about all night, you could be seeing Bray Wyatt maybe getting involved in this match. Mm. This music freaks me out. Mm. Especially when they have that... Who is that kid who sings as well? I've, I heard it was Pretty Boy. I somehow don't believe that. Oh, that's what Pretty Boy told me. He actually sings. Why would he sing for the Wyatts? He, he goes to uh, Francis's singing school and Bray Wyatt came there too and was just like, you have a nice voice. Hold on, let's get this straight. He goes to Francis's singing school when he has a yoga school. He has, he has, he has like three other schools. I think you need to stop drinking that Florida water. Ladies well, and gentlemen. I'm, I'm just saying what PT and Pretty Boy said to me. Oh, so. really? Enough said. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the ring, he is the Royal Rumble winner and the number one contender for the NSW Championship. He is the Redneck, Carlos. It's such a nice quad bike. Mm. I would like one of them. Uh, oh, I was well, actually promised one of them. You know what's coming up soon, Dave? What's that? Christmas. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, I don't think the, the, the missus would let us get one. No. <laughs> The kids, the, the kids will want to go on it. Mm, quite dangerous, quad bikes, but Carlos is a dangerous guy. Yeah, you don't want to get on the, the wrong side of him. This is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. It is Carlos versus Luke Harper. Let's find out if Carlos can get some momentum over the White family going into WrestleMania. Fans definitely love him. Mm. I'm liking his new attire. He's had this for a Couple of couple of weeks now. Yeah. Well, here we First go. Let's change his attitude a bit as well. Yeah, let's go. Who do you think is going to win this one? Final time of the night. All right, let's. Okay, let's let's see if I can get maybe two tonight. Let's go for. Uh, I'm have to go for Luke Harper in this. All right. Well, the NSW app are voting, and it's pretty mixed. I would say it's just in for Harper That's at the moment. Good. Harper's Not many people being confident on, in the number one contender here. I'm the Royal Rumble winner. Mm, of course, Royal Rumble winner. Of course, uh, beat Brock Lesnar. Uh, sorry, threw him out last to win the Royal Rumble. It's not an easy task to do. In any form. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, of course, ladies and gentlemen, has anyone, even a redneck, can do a Russian leg sweep? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, remember that... Uh, NXT is coming up very soon. You do not want to go anywhere and you do not want to miss the rookies of NSW in a big night with three titles on the line. Oh, wow. What a night we have for NXT. Yeah, that is coming up soon. Back to this match. Carlos in control. Wyatt not looking happy on the outside. As Look at this. Again, another back suplex. And Carlos in control here. And now, look at this, one Say of his no. own, one of the, uh, anyone, even Harper, can return the Russian leg sweep. <clears throat> As a, oh, nice neck breaker by Luke Harper, taking Carlos down here. Carlos in a little bit of a tr bit of trouble. Bray Wyatt doesn't seem too worried, though. He might do now after a nice swinging neck breaker. Oh. And you've got to see it. Carlos needs to definitely build some momentum coming up with three shows left. As another swinging neck breaker. My goodness me, how many is he going to do on Harper here tonight? 
Carlos really doesn't want to get injured. Uh, like you said, three weeks only until WrestleMania. One of the biggest matches of his, his career. He doesn't want to get injured for that. Yeah, but if he keeps getting put up against opponents like Luke Harper, what's he going to... You know he's the man that's never going to stop fighting. And it, Well, you've just got to think, it may just be one step too far come WrestleMania. Mm. Carlos, now look at this. Carlos just still fighting back. Shots, double shots, kicks. And then look at this, the one-handed. No. Whoa. Shark slam, yes. Cover him, Carlos. Cover! This Cover. is it, Carlos is good. Oh, we oh, forgot about no. Bray Wyatt. Look at this. Unbelievable. But look at this, Carlos, yes! Oh. The drop out! Referee, turn round! Oh my goodness me, Harper takes control. And Bray Wyatt, of course, happy on the outside. Harper doing, of course, Bray Wyatt's dirty work here tonight. Harper could have had, no, sorry, Carlos could have had one then. Yeah, you've got to think though. Thanks to Bray Wyatt, this match continues and Luke Harper trying to do as much damage really as he can. Oh, what what the hell was that? Whoa. What the hell did he just pull out of his pocket? And Luke Harper's going to steal one here. Two, no. Carlos kicking out of two. And look at this nice turn by Carlos somehow getting momentum back on his side here. Cover and again. Oh, come on, oh, Wyatt. Wyatt. Just get rid of him. Carlos looked to have like a five count there. Harper again coming on. No, but look at this. Uh, ref, turn round. Oh, the roll up. Turn round, referee. That's, that's at least a four count there. Ref, go for the cover, ref. He's decided to pin him. One, two, two. He got three. him. <laughs> Carlos wins. Carlos wins. Carlos wins. <laughs> Wow. What wow. For Carlos. He somehow managed to hang on for what had to be a 10 count. And Carlos picks up the win over the Wyatt family. <laughs> what a night for Carlos. What a win. I'm telling you, I, may, I have just changed my opinion for WrestleMania. That's a huge, huge win for Carlos here tonight. You know what? We could be seeing the new NSW champion come WrestleMania. And Carlos, getting back inside the ring to celebrate. Oh no, 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 no. no. no, no. Oh no. Oh, now, three of the wide now, oh. oh, look at this. Why did Carlos get back inside the ring? See, you don't go in Bray Wyatt's face because this is what will happen. And look at this disrespect by Bray Wyatt. And I'll tell you one thing, if Carlos hasn't been pumped up these recent few weeks this might just make it even worse and well what a way to win smackdown thank you very much of course for my guest here jess west jess thanks yeah it's all right pleasure to be on smackdown thank you very much and of course you're going to see us two for nxt and very very soon of course join us for that and of course we'll always say goodbye to the fans goodbye to the fans and that's it nsw smackdown is over for another week join us next week next thursday See usual time from Dave Easton, Jess West. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for NXT.